Hello again, we're on lesson 11-4, which is critical thinking with the number lines and line plots. So we've already done our guided practice in class, so we're going to head on down to question number three. So Natasha keeps a log of absences in her fourth grade class. She creates the line plot shown over here. Each dot represents the number of absences in one week. So a dot is our absences in one week. Natasha says that the total of absences is 16 because there are 16 dots on a number line. So what is Natasha's argument and how does she support it? So Natasha says there are 16 absences And then how does she support it? She supports it because there are 16 dots. So now the question is, does her reasoning make sense? So let's check. We have zero absences here. Here we have one, two, three absences. Here we have two, four absences. Here we have 3, 6, 9, 12, 15 absences, and here we have 7 absences. So remember, these are absences in one week. So in one week, there was actually a time where she was absent 7 times. So now let's check. Does it make sense that there's 16 absences? Well, no, because she missed 3, 4, 15, and 7. So let's check. We have to add up her absences. So her reasoning does not make sense. Natasha needs to add the number of absences for each week to find the total. So what would that be? Well, we have 0 plus 3 plus 4 plus 15 plus 7. So all together, she has 29 absences. For question number 5, it says that Tosh also says that there's an outlier in her data. Is she correct? Well, remember, an outlier is any data that's far away from the others. If I look, this 7 dot is very far away from our other dots. So she is correct with that. So we would say yes. Natasha's data includes a week with seven absences, which is far away or very different from the other data, from the rest of the data. All right, on to our next page. Question number six. Mr. Polly is building a desk using screws of different lengths. The instructions show how many screws of each length he will use. Mr. Polly concludes he'll use more of the shortest screws than the longest screws. So our first part says dry line plot to show the screw lengths that he will use to build the deck. So what I need to do is I need to figure out my smallest length and my biggest length. I don't see any numbers that are smaller or bigger, so those are going to be the numbers I'm going to start with. So I'm going to start with 3 eighths, and I need to think, what is my scale? And I also need to say, what are my dots going to be? So my dots, remember, are my nail lengths, or my screws. So if I have 10 dots, that means I have 10 screws. My scale is what am I counting by? Well, I see here is broken up into eights, into eights, into eights. So my scale is going to be by eights. So I'm going to count by eights. So I have three eights, four eights, five eights, six eights, seven eights, eight eights, which is the same as one whole. Then I have one whole and one eighth, one whole and two eights, one whole and three eighths. And my last one is one whole and four eighths. So now let's check what we have. 
We have 3 eighths, so I put a dot on 3 eighths. We have 7 eighths, so I put a dot on 7 eighths. We have 1 and 4 eighths. We have 3 eighths again. We have 1 whole. We have 1 and 4 eighths. We have 6 eighths. So I'm just using those dots again. And just putting a dot above each number that I have. Remember, I do want to try to keep the dots all on the same line. So if I have two dots in a row, then they should all be about the same heights. If I have one dot in a row, they should all be about that same height. Here I have another 7 eighths. Here I have another 3 eighths. Another 7 eighths. Another 3 eighths. So, so far it looks like he's going to be correct with his assumption. One hole. Oops, I forgot to add that one hole right there. And one and four eighths. So let's check. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen dots. So let me check to make sure I have sixteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. So somewhere along I have a wrong dot number. So let's check again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So let's check here. I have 3 eighths. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 of those. I have 6 eighths. I have 1, 6, 8, 2, 6, 8. So my 6 eighths are good. 7 eighths. I have 1, 7, 8, 2, 7, 8, 3, 7, 8. My one holes, I have two holes. My one and one eighth, do I have any of those? I don't, so that's where I made my mistake because I added an extra one. So now that we have our dot plot taken care of, let's check the rest of our problems. So draw a line plot to show the screw lengths. So I also need that label at the top for screw lengths. And I need that label at the bottom of what we're measuring and we're measuring in inches. So now on to question number two. It says, how can you use the line plot to find out which, which length of screw Mr. Pally needs the most? So Mr. Pally needs more 3 8 because there's more dots. So he needs more 3 8 or those smaller ones, inch screws because there are more dots than anywhere else on the number line. Hey, do you happen to have um, an extra volume two math book? Uh, Sorry, that was our fourth interruption for this video. So on to our last one, our critical reasoning. Is Mr. Polly's conclusion reasonable? How did you decide? If not, what can you do to improve his reasoning? So if you remember at the very beginning, he had this idea. He said that he'll need to use more of the shorter screws than the longest screws. So is his reasoning correct? Yeah, it is reasonable because we have more dots in that small section. So he needs to use more of that shortest length. He needs to use, and let's see how many dots there were. One, two, three, four, five, six. He needs to use six of the shortest screws. But how many long ones did he need to use? But only blank of the longest screws. And let's see up here, he had one, two, three. So he only needs to use three of those longest screws. All right, that is it for this video.